morning, ladies and gents. New shave video today. How are you all doing? <laughs> Hopefully well. I'm doing good today. Halloween is here. Woo! Finally, right? Didn't think I was going to do a video today. I was like, thought my last one was like my re review for Halloween and stuff like that. But last second, bam, came in. So, got a lot in this one today. A lot, a lot. A lot so box let's just get it started and yeah don't forget anything Chris <laughs> so DE razor we're going to be using today is brand new and that is Canada Calgary the Christopher Bradley double-edged safety razor carve shaving company this is the razor we're gonna be using today now a lot to talk about this one too so in a box like this this is the brass one 3.5 um handle um yeah and 98 grams no no no, no. scratch that 110 grams is how much this weighs and to give you a comparison about how heavy that is phoenix artisan accoutrements 316l weighs approximately 98 grams so gives you an idea of how heavy that is a little a little bit heavier than this so that's the razor we're going to be using today carve i believe that's how you say it. i heard matt pisarsic last week on his youtube channel say carve so if i'm wrong saying that right saying the name then i'm wrong and he's wrong and oh well i mean correct me then so but yes this is the brass one now in a box like this there's stainless steel one too, and the stainless steel one, I believe, comes in the middle, and then it has four of these slots. And what are these slots for, Chris? Well, I'm gonna tell you. Now, these slots right here are for actually the base cap, base plate, sorry. And they arrange, this is the solid bar one, and this is a C. And they range from, let's see, um, the open comb version ranges from double A all the way to F and the solid bar goes from double a all the way to g and that double a means the uh mildest obviously f would be the more aggressive efficient so that's what all these are for you get the different blade plates you know and you set them in there for whatever type of shave you want now okay tells you about the general maintenance on it and everything it is um exposed brass so and it is it's bead blasted so if you want to actually um seal it you can use mineral oil or beeswax and it'll seal it but whatever you do to seal it'll look as if you got a fingerprint there it'll seal it in there now okay high fives <laughs> tells you about the plastic washer on there I'm gonna keep it on mine. So if you wanna take it off of your razor, go right ahead. Me personally, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it on mine. <laughs> now, explained about how to clean it, you know, toothbrush and stuff. Now, also, with this razor, you can go directly to Car Carve and buy it, or um, Maggard Razors in Canada also sells them and. West Coast Shaving in Southern California sells them. They sell the base plates, top cap, you know, sometimes stuff sold out. And like I said, I just saw Matt Pasarsic's uh, video last week, and now Razor Emporium is actually carrying the Carve um, razors, the brass one and the stainless steel one. And what's cool, it is raw brass, but it's bead blasted, and um, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements actually does metal plating, like rhodium, nickel plating, uh, 24 karat gold I believe and rose gold so on Matt Star 6 videos he actually used a brass one but his was um, plated in rhodium I'm kind of I kind of want to do that with mine I'm thinking about it but I don't know and you can let it patina or you can not let it patina and yeah I mean it's cool man so <clears throat> very 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 haven't used it yet it's my first time using it but very 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 nice construction on this thing this is like I'm starting I believe was saying that Christopher Bradley was a did machine was a machinist and did machine stuff for like years. So he machines his stuff. And this is the C plate. Come on, focus. If 
probably can't see this. See there, see there, see there, and then there's a see there. But it's it's built really, really nice. I mean, it's it's in there nice. So the D, <coughs> that's the eraser we're going to be using. And <coughs> last year, Big Shapes West. Chris was at Big Shapes West. I talked to him for a little bit. We talked about like hockey and stuff. I think I think he's an Edmonton Oilers fan because he said Calgary, and I was like, "Oh, the Flames." He's like, "Oh, more toward Edmonton, man." I'm like, "Oh, that's cool, whatever." <laughs> but so he is actually going to be. He's one of the vendors, and he's going to be at Big Shapes West um, next year, March 28th. And he actually, he actually doesn't sell just razors. Looking at his website, he sell, also sells like travel case travel case and then there you sell he has um there's a blade kai blade that's what we're using today <laughs> blah 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 chris blah 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 de blade we're going to be using today kai brand new no writing <laughs> <laughs> but he i was looking at his website and then seeing the stuff that he had at big shape last year i couldn't purchase anything though so hopefully next year i'll be able to purchase stuff because he's got i saw he had on his website there's um they do shave bowls or he does shave bowls too and they're made in calgary <laughs> like right in calgary <laughs> and uh brushes and his brushes are pretty dang cool looking like the brushes i put i put the washer on take it off you guys want to listen to that take it off don't listen to, don't listen to me do your own thing and the brushes are cool because uh there's there's a green hornet one i like and then there's a there's a connect connect speak Canadian one and it's like the Canadian flags like red white red and the green hornet one I think is green and black it looks freaking cool but that's in there this is the C plate closed bar so I want to I gotta save up because I want to get one of the uh, I want to get one of his brushes because they're cool because it's a local skateboard factory it's lamb some of the, their brushes are laminated skateboard maple and it looks like when you look take a skateboard and you put it on the side and you can see the the seven layers or eight layers nine layers however skateboard and it, it's layered it's it's pretty cool i want to grab one of his brushes next year <laughs> hopefully i gave him little overhang there's little overhang on there you got to be aware of so but yeah the eraser and blade we're going to be using today so you save the box because you got to get different plates I wish I got a lot in this video today, man. Oh. All right, I'm wearing my skull. <laughs> it's getting kind of warm. It's cold here today. Like, it's the coldest October it's been here in Arizona in the last 40 years. I mean, it was like 40 degrees this morning and then thermostat's like 65, I think, which, oh, feels good. So, today, on how it's made, just kidding. <laughs> got a lot in my box, so. Candy. Pumpkin, candy corn, another candy corn, yeah, came in my box, oh yeah, what else came in my box, Chris, don't talk in my pool, you'll float too, you'll float too, <laughs> clown nose, black one, that's cool, not red, black was cool, that came with the box. What are you doing, Flabo? You want me on TV again? Let's see. Do it. Look at me. Woofy. So, yeah. It's going to be a long video. So, also, what is what, this? It's some clown fruit. It's a pin. Also, let's see. God, I got a lot today, man. <laughs> Might be a long video, but hey. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Trick or treat. <laughs> Appreciate what we're going to be using today. Seasonal. It's cute. What? Wait, it's not mentholated? Wait a minute, whoa. What is this? Hmm? Glow cube. This is glow cube. Same 
new eight ounces, but not scented, not mentholated. So I did get out the shower with the 1.0 cube though. So and I'm rocking like six or seven days worth of growth, man. I'm like logger. But yeah, brand new glow cube. I seen one of these on the internet before and I was like, man, I want one of those. When's he gonna release that again? Yeah, no scent, but glow cube, check it out. The glow is cool. See? Pretty cool. It glows in the dark. Huh. Shave your face with some meat in the dark. Saving all your food stamps and burning down the trailer park. That same etching in there and everything. But yeah, it glows in the dark. <laughs> Soap we're going to be using today. Well, hang on. Just got out of the shower. But this is cool. Yeah. Clown nose, eyes, and it goes all the way through the back too. Body bar. Now, I'm kicking myself because I got my package and I was like, bonehead. I forgot to order the sh shampoo puck as well. I'm like, well, today's payday, so I can grab one. Plus, there's cool, they got cool, two cool shirts they have. Um, things are come true, they have a shirt that looks like that. You get different colors or whatever. But they also have a shirt that I'm, I want to get. It looks just like this. The whole thing's like printed like that. And, well, what, what? Oh, yeah. Soap we're going to be using today. Not the CK6. Son of Clown Fruit. Get the little clown right there. He's got his little cube balloon. You float too. You float too. Son of Clown Fruit. Now, if you guys are fans of the original Clown Fruit, Will the Wisp, Wispy, this is exact same, exact same thing. So, no, like, oh, it's different. No, it's just, it's the same thing. Scent profile. Wormwood, Hungarian Oak, Elderflower, Absinthe, Neroli, Amaris, Elderberry, Burnt Sugar, and Tobacco. So, if you guys are a fan of that stuff, if you're a fan of the Will of the Wisp and the old clown fruit, where it's at. And this glows in the dark too. Woo ha ha. Just kidding. No Corey Taylor today. <laughs> What? Come on. Camera's not picking it up. There. See how it glows for a second? Camera's not picking it up, man. Dang it. Boom. But yeah, it glows. You'll see it. Alright, so that's what we're doing today. Let's get it going. <laughs> had the hot water going, but it's cold outside, so now it's cold again. Okay, yeah. warmed up, there we go. Glow cube. Scentless, no scent. Not ventilated. Yeah. Against the grain. <laughs> like when you're standing something, don't go against the grain, go with the grain. Well, when you're putting this on, you go against the grain. That's huge, man. Peace. Nope, don't snap. Hmm. Almost like the banana cube, but nope. This one glows. You've seen it. brush we're going to be using today. Poly H Films. Red tomato. Red brush. A white cashmere 24 millimeter knot. Oh. Let's get it going. 
It will if man. <laughs> son of clown fruit. He's a son. Son of it. I knew it. Yeah. Whip it up. So you guys got any uh, plans for Halloween? You guys got kids and stuff? Go trick or treating. I know sometimes they do it. Here they do it um early before like the sun goes down and stuff like that for like little, little tiny little kids and stuff. But in some places, sometimes uh like I think some people went trick or treating last night as well. But yeah. I want to be a little kid and go trick or treating again, man. That's fun. <laughs> You're adult now, Chris. You can't do that stuff. Like, oh. <laughs> All right. Get this up. You're adult. You go to like house parties and like bars and stuff. And I'm like, no, I want to go trick or treating, man. <laughs> Thirsty soap today. Hmm. A little bit more water in there. Yeah, a little more water. Hmm. Mm. Oh, he's already making a 20 minute video. Told you be long. Had a lot to say. I got stuff to say. No, no dancing. <laughs> Misfits. Getting old, man. <laughs> Getting old. Start, start forgetting like little thing. Like that's that shampoo pucks. I'm like, I thought I ordered it. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna be forty. I'm gonna be forty-one in December. Ugh. Forty. Forty. Wow. What are you doing? Yeah, it's a little thirsty soap. I need a little bit more water than usual. Unless I did something wrong, but maybe I did. I don't know. Okay. For Bradley DE Razor. Base 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 plate C. Okay, pass number one. Here we go. Far so good. That's only a cheek though, Chris. Chris? Chris. Christopher? Chris. Chris. <laughs> I remember when uh, there was a time at work, there was three different Chris's. And that was like... Hey, Chris. What? No, oh, not you. Chris with the K. <laughs> I don't play... I don't spell mine with a C K, though. I got mine with a C. So... Razor so far. <laughs> they say like six or seven days worth of growth. And the C plate's uh the C plate's like a medium medium aggression. It's not like double A, which would be the mildest, or like F would be like more R41 maybe. Yeah, gone. Yeah, that's a nice razor. Did 
Just need a little bit more water in that soap. It's a little pasty. <laughs> Not yogurty. Yogurt? Yogurt? I hate yogurt. <laughs> Spaceballs. <laughs> Spaceballs, the flamethrower. It does want to be with you. The kids love that one. Yeah. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Huh. I see. All right. Let's get a little bit more water in here. It's starting to crack like flake because I put too, didn't put enough water in it. But that's my fault. Amateur. There we go. Abby. Wolfie ski. Do chin. That blade's in there too. It's not going nowhere. Like it, yeah. Movement on nothing. It's yeah. Hmm, kind of putting it through the test with six days worth of growth. And it's doing very, very excellent. And it's doing very good. Yeah. Awesome. Very nice. Wow, yeah. Impress. I'm really impressed. That's nice. Yeah. Very nice right here. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. That's two. Wait. That's two. Yeah, a little bit. Can you put them on your mustache right there? Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. Very nice, yeah. Nice razor. And I was re there's a like the instructions. Well, I might tell you because this is raw or it's bead blasted, but you leave water on it or droplets or any kind of moisture on it. You just leave it, it'll darken and it'll patina. 
If you like that, that's cool. But I was saying on there, if you don't, and you can use like um, toothpaste and clean it that way, like a cloth, non abrasive cloth. And yeah. I like it. I gotta get. I gotta get different base plates though. Get an open comb one. I like open comb stuff. But yeah, six days worth of growth. Chop suey. Excellent, man. Excellent. Oh yeah. Very nice. Very smooth razor, very nicely made too. I mean, it's, look, no nicks, no cuts. It's a very smooth gliding um, razor. It's <laughs> very nice. <laughs> okay, let's do the mustache. Mustache, you question. I know it's almost half an hour. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. Sorry, I had a lot to say. I told you I had a lot to say. <laughs> Gone. Pretty nice with a Kai blade, too. What our feather we do in here? Because Kai is almost, almost feather sharp. Just almost. And they're both made in Japan, so. Six days was a group. C plate. Solid bar. Gone. Oh. Huh. Wow. I'm impressed, man. I'm impressed. <laughs> Alright. Clean up in the shower. And be right back. Okay, back. I'm black. Just a little black. Yes, no. Let him laugh. It's a pen up there, Sandor. Yes. Very nice. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Very smooth. Yeah. Total BBS, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Matching aftershave. You flow too. Got a little. It's on a clown fruit. Spaceships. He's got a little basket. Which when I when I was a kid, no, I never went bag snatching. What we used to use, because plastic bags wouldn't work. We get so much candy, right? What we used to use was, come on. Take this off before, but yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Um, 
pillowcase. That's what we used to use, a pillowcase. And that's what we put our candy in. Oh, my finger. Oh, I gotta, I gotta cut. It burns. Oh, it burns bad on my finger, not my face. Face not burning, feels good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Son of clown fruit. Woo wisp. Wispy. <laughs> I should do, I can do the Will of the Wisp uh, Star Jelly. I could do that. Put that on top, but save you guys time. I don't want to hear you guys cry. I'm making a half hour. Yeah. Just kidding, whatever. If you made it past the clowns and made it this far, congratulations, because I guarantee my fiance is not going to be watching this video. She hates clowns. She despises them. She hates the movie. It. And she sees a clown, she's like, she's a storm drain. She's like, I'm not walking over there. I'm like, come on, I ain't going to get you. Fresh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Recap. Son of Clown Fruit. After shape. Had the Glow Cube Seasonal. Glows in the dark. Seasonal, so go get one while you can. I think it's like $5.95. Cheap. Cheap, cheap. And it's eight ounces. It's half a pound. Glows in the dark, man. Son of Clown Fruit. Soap. To shape with? That shirt, uh, I want to get that shirt. That's cool. It's like an all over print. Like, it's all of this, it like flows over into it. It's, yeah. I don't know, they like trees or sunflowers. Children of the corn. Malachi. Red Ryan. Paul H. Films. Tomato Red. DS Cosmetic. 24 millimeter cashmere knot. Brush. What we use today. Candy corn courtesy of Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and Douglas Smythe and Friends. Thank you. <laughs> Alan Block, PAA. It's on a clown fruit pin. Bar soap for your body. Need to get the shampoo up. You drop the ball, Chris. Oh! Dropping things. Butterfingers. DE blade we use today. Tie blade. The eraser we use today. Carve shaving. Christopher Bradley Carve Shaving Company. Very impressed. I'm very, very, I, I, I recommend it. I, re, I totally, I still recommend this. It's a nice razor. Hair everywhere. Cat, dog. Very nice weight to it. I mean, I had, that was six days worth of growth right there. Six or seven days worth of growth and chopped it right off. I'd like to get a base plate, maybe an open comb and a C. Try that one. That might be pretty cool, but I don't know. That's dirty right there. When the soap was too thick and I didn't have enough water in it. I'll be cleaning that in a minute, but what it is, yeah. 3.5 handle brass. Carve Shaving Company. Very good, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm impressed. Very impressed. So, that's it. That's the video. Happy Halloween, suckers. <laughs> Just kidding. Hope you guys have a good day. Have a good week. Be safe trick-or-treating. And if you like my video, like it, comment, subscribe. You know, you know the drill, right? <laughs> so, be safe, ladies and gents. And no shave November's tomorrow. So, this is going to be growing. But we're gonna. I'm still gonna do shave. So I'm doing neck. I don't like. I don't like it. I don't like it alone. I mean, maybe you have like a, <laughs> yeah, wizard Harry, beard, and the neck will bl like blend into it. But if you're not growing it very long, I like to trim my neck. So good shave today. Ooh, happy Halloween. Oh. See y'all, ladies and gents, later. Bye, guys. <laughs>